I'm Dale Yates. I live south of Vernon, and uh, somebody dropped this dog right after the first year. She was pregnant, and so the end of January, she's dropped us with five pups, and uh, she is uh, just weaning him now. So we're going to turn her loose, uh, have her feed, and we want to keep her because she's such a nice dog. Somebody let a nice dog get away. I'm from Bloomington, but I'm originally from Northern Indiana, Roundabout Park. Okay. How long have you been doing this? Um, actually, I just started. I've been doing it for about two and a half months or so. He got brought in in one of the very worst days that we could have had. The weather was oh, terrible, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. First morning didn't go too good, but he, he made it just fine. Well, He's a good driver. It's good to get the uh, worst days out ahead of time so they're prepared I later on, you know. <laughs> Today yeah, I know. It's beautiful. It's beautiful yesterday too. I know. Like so, do you have any uh, interesting stories to tell about journeys on the road with a truck full of animals? Not really. Just like sometimes, sometimes I have to like stop for gas on the way back or whatever, and I'll pull up to the gas station, and sometimes the uh, the truck will be barking and meowing, and people will be like, oh. like, like yeah, I imagine that does kind of throw people. I never yeah. Sometimes. Sisters, mm -hmm. that's the yeah. uh, Okay. Where the Y used to be. Um, I've been feeding them for about two years. Like, probably a little longer than that. Um, there are about eight of them down there right now. There's going to be more. <laughs> um, I've been trying to catch them, haven't had a lot of luck. There's a couple of them, a couple more of them that are getting ready to have litters. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to get them, they're breaking me up, but I'm not going to let them go. I mean, I'm going to feed them. But I'm just I'm trying to get those numbers down. <laughs> How many have you brought in to be spayed and neutered? Uh, so far, just two. It's not been, I've not been real successful at catching them. My luck is about to change, I think. How's that? Um, well, for one thing, I just got, there's probably eight cats down there. Almost all of them are females, except for the one I brought in this morning. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get this multiplication stopped if at all possible. <laughs> What's awful nice of you? Well, I've, I've had animals since I was a kid. And it really irritates me to see the way people treat animals sometimes. Um, you know, going off and desert them just because they don't want to deal with them anymore. Animals don't ask for a position that they're put in a lot of the time. And it's not fair some of the things that we do to them. And it's not time. I, these people are great. I, I met up with these people about six months ago. And these people are as crazy as I am about this stuff. So I'm probably worse because they've been involved in it a lot deeper, a lot longer. But a lot, of, a lot more people need to get involved. If nothing else, just you know, give some money to help out with food and stuff like that. You know, the the spay and neuter thing. You know, take care of that. Stop them from multiplying. You know, don't abuse them. Don't kill them. But stop the multiplication. Right, that's the only way this situation is going to improve. Right. These people have got a lot of guts and a lot of a lot of perseverance to follow through with this. And I commend them very highly <laughs> for what my opinion is. Great. Thank you. which uh, this makes our fourth transport so far this year, which will total up to about 130 animals we've sent already this in year. In first quarter. So yeah, uh, Mercy Rescue's here in your county to do some good things. That's right. We've been going for about four years, and we're a not-for-profit group. And in addition to the transports, we also need foster parents in right. the area. Um, dogs, cats, puppies, kittens, there's an abundance. But we also want to stress, of course, spaying and neutering your pet. Right. Can't, can't emphasize that enough. I mean, since we've been doing this program, this will be our third summer, we've sent over 600 animals now. In fact, closer to 700, which really, really cuts down on the overpopulation. The numbers of being uh, taken into the shelter out here, animal control shelter, are down about 225 from last year, um, which is phenomenal, I think. If we can keep this up every year, we're going to break it down to nearly zero before it's all said and done. We can only hope. Speaking of animal control, do remember if you lose your pet, Call them, call Mercy Rescue, call your local Humane Society. There's three different venues to check for lost 
or a runaway animal. So we want to make sure that your dog or cat gets back to you. We also want to let you know Mercy Rescue has several events coming up. We do pet adoptions. You might see us at your local Walmart. We'll be doing the pet in the park um, again this year where we have our dog show, which is uh, the community's invited. We have prizes. We have a really good time. Wings over Muscatatuck. Come on out to that. We've got a booth set up there. We'll have some animals on display. We'll also be having hot dogs and great refreshments and a good opportunity for you to learn about Mercy Rescue and Adoption. Volunteers. We always need them. Right. And we're also getting ready for our third annual uh, auction at Reed's uh, Scipio Auction Barn. Uh, we're taking all donations, um, whether it be monetary or um, items that can be sold to help our group out. That we're always trying to figure out ways to raise more money and of course donations are always welcome. That's right. So for more information you can call 346-8751. Um, you can also check out the newspaper's website. We have uh, information right there thanks to our camera guy Josh. <laughs> so again 346-8751. Check us out on your local newspaper website and please remember to have your pet spayed and neutered. So if, if uh someone wants to come in and bring a pet to be spayed or neutered, what is the cost for the general public on that? Well, dogs are $50 for any size dog. The rabies shots are 6 Cats, uh, female cats are $45. Uh, rabies there are being 6 and the male cats are $25. Um, I still have some male vouchers uh, left that were awarded to us last year, whereas it's only $10 to have a male done plus the rabies shot. We charge a $5 administration fee and we also rent crates. Uh, if you need a crate to send your animal to Bloomington, uh, it's a great program, great people to work with, great driver. Um, I feel good about sending all the animals there. Great. Thank you.